Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to set up Wikbot correctly and have 100% secure. Let's begin. First of all make sure Wik is added to your server and you can see your Discord server on dashboard. If you can see your server it is very good, now let's open our server and let the fun begin. When your server is loaded you can see that is not 100% secure, it is because you have to do a lot of things, first let's go to wizard and set it up. When you open wizard, you can see two options, automatic setup and continue, tap on continue. Here you can choose your prefix, prefix is a command usage word, you can use commands with prefix instead of slash commands. After you choose your prefix go to the next section using this button. Here you can choose if you want to use slash commands to or not. Next section says if you want your moderation logs to be detailed or not, I recommend to turn it off. Here you can choose your logging channel. You can ingle this and use automatic setup and Wick will do it itself, but if you want to do it yourself go to your Discord server, create some channels and name them anything, and also make sure that your moderators and admins can see the channels, this is optional. Make sure you also have mod logs. After you're done refresh the server on top left of the website. In the next section you can select your main role which is a role that will be added to your members when they complete the verification, you should add this if you have verification enabled. We can see it says above bot and I will teach you how to fix it later. Now we have reached the most important moment of this video, Automod. Make sure you turned on the enable Automod button before selecting your monitors. Repeat this for anti-spam. And also for anti-nuke, this is very suggested if you don't want to wake up with your server content completely gone. Anti-nuke without quarantine is a body without soul, if your admins try to nuke your server, you can use this module to stop them or Wick will do it automatically. If you have a trusted moderator or admin you can whitelist them here or add trusted admin permit, which we will talk about it later. You can also choose a channel or category to whitelist so Wick doesn't moderate anything there if you want. This is the channel creations and deletions whitelist category, which will be extremely useful if you have a ticket spot in your server. Here you can put your extremely trusted admins to do manage quarantined users with unquarantining them.
Only do this on your extremely trusted admins, if you put a untrusted admins ID they can easily bypass Wix anti nuke and destroy your server. For example to get a user ID, go to Discord right click on them and tap on copy user ID if you have developer mode enabled, if you don't have developer mode enabled, go to Discord user settings, advanced and turn developer mode on. This is join gate and will block not certified users from joining your server. You can choose what kind of not certified users Wick should block. Remember Wick will probably make a mistake and block a certified user. Please do this on your own risk. You can also use join raid if you want Wick to block a raid, but that's a premium feature. This is the second gate of a nuke or raid, verification. Verification can help you block members from getting full access to your server. I recommend setting it to website. You can also see how each type of verification works, by just simply using the preview window on the right. If we put a wrong code we can see that it does nothing. We can see that it does nothing when we tap on setup channel, I'll tell you how to fix it later. This is rescue key and it shows what it does under the key preview. We have done the wizard but it's still not 100% secure, it's because we have to do some things manually. In notes we can see a lot of warnings, let's begin to fix them. First let's go to wizard and tap on automatic setup. Make sure you have Wix role on top of other roles, and quarantine right under it. It says you have three roles that can kick or ban easily, well, you have to remove all kick or ban perms from your roles, if you have admin you can add all perms and remove administrator, kick and ban perms, without this wick can't easily notice your members getting kicked or banned and easily end up your members getting banned and kicked without your admins or moderators or any other intruder getting quarantined. If the warning still didn't disappear, you have to wait some seconds or make sure all of your roles doesn't have the perms.
You can see it says you don't have the lockdown system completed. This is a very 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 boring warning to complete if you already have a lot of roles that's why it's optional. But to fix it go to lockdown section, settings and apply fix. Done. You have completed WIC. But wait, you still didn't complete the manually moderation done. Go to verification section and configured your verification. Now let's set up our verification channel. When you save your changes you will receive a message from WIC in your verification channel. If you didn't, go to Wizard, Verification section and tap on Setup Channel. You're all done with verification. Now let's set up your permits for your staff. Also don't forget to add your verified member role. Here you can add the permissions of WIC with staff. Trusted admin will give full immunity with all permissions to your selected users. Extra owner will give trusted admin permissions including full access to WIC's dashboard to selected users. Here you can add admin roles to the admin permit. In permission section you can add immunity, moderation, lockdown and whitelist to your permit. Repeat this for moderator or any other permit. In logging section you can add every log that WIC can do and add it to your channels. In appeals section you can see every appeal that is sent from muted or banned members. Here make sure the verification level is set to medium, this will help WIC to stop nukes. Thank you guys for watching, 
Make sure to like and subscribe, join our Discord server for more tips and guides.